rifle suit really was kicked out of the bakery recently for arguing about the recurring digits in their pies. <laughs> what a shark. For him, winning is all in today's smirk. And then, of course, you have the governors. Part Margaret Thatcher and spare parts from Sherman Tank. <laughs> uh, and what are your thoughts? Um, well, I'd love Issa. Yeah. He's pretty cute, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. All right. Fingers crossed. Release the chaser. Man as a hatter. Yes. Yeah. Chef's claim to be a little bit looser, so you must be right out there. <laughs> well, grand is a really good result. A testament to how cool you were in that round. <laughs> Five correct answers to get home. Four? $2,500. All right, you are. And the top offer for six correct answers, G Man? Add 20 to what you've earned. $32,000. Mm. So want to do that. <laughs> well, you know, you don't get the offer every day. No, I know. I'll oh. go in the middle. Go in the middle. Twelve thousand. Yep. All righty. Thirty-two has got two five has got twelve is the target. For twelve thousand dollars, the chase is on. Question one. When decimal currency was introduced in Australia, which coin replaced the shilling? A one cent. B, 2 cent, C, 10 cent. A shilling. Do you remember the changeover? Yep. You were there? I was there. Oh, you've gone with 10 cent. Correct answer is... 10 cent. Well done. Off and running. And Goliath says... Oh, 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 I'm not old enough to remember that, but I do remember that for a long time, 20 cents was too bob. <laughs> Alright, question. In which country are the historic coastal towns known as the sink ports? A. England. B. South Africa. C. Canada. So, you've gone with South Africa. Correct answer is... England. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Goliath says... England. The reason I know it is Robert Menzies, Sir Robert Menzies, yeah. made Lord of the Sank Ports as an oh, honour. Oh, what's he really right? expect from the yeah. Crown team? There we go. All right, so he plays the gap by one, but yes, still well. plenty of game left yeah. in this. Angela, question. In the wild, Australian macropods are classed as what type of animal? A carnivore, B herbivore, C piscivore. Just got in. Yeah, I did. What do you think, macropods? What are you thinking? Mm, I'm a bit confused. Mm. I've gone herbivore. Okay. Go okay. right down the middle with herbivore. Yep. Correct answer is. Oh. Nicely done. Sorry. Love it when they're completely confused and then they get it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt says, herbivore. I mean, we're talking about you know wallabies and kangaroos, macropod, oh, yeah, big feet. Yeah, 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 big feet yeah. Yeah. Question is, the wife of which leader reportedly stated, "We all lose, we go shopping after the election." A. Ferdinand Marcos. B. Nicolas Sarkozy. C. Donald Trump. You've gone with Ferdinand Marcos. Correct answer is. <laughs> Spot on. And Goliath said. Donald Trump. Two to get home, three ahead. Things are looking very good. <laughs> Question is Dustin Moskovitz is a co founder of which social networking platform? A. Flickr. B. Instagram. C. Facebook. You've gone with Instagram. Correct answer is. Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, Come on, C. There you go. Question is. 
which military strategy specifically involves surrounding an enemy position to force surrender. A, siege. B, defilade. C, blitzkrieg. You go with... I've gone with A. A, all right. Correct answer is... Well done, yes indeed. And Goliath said... Yeah, Blitzkrieg is just rolling over the top of the lightning wall, Julie. And defilade is uh, when you alter your position kind of backwards and sideways. Uh, it's not a full retreat, but it's oh, falling okay. back to let them come onto you. All oh, right, so this is the one to get you home. 12 grand. And the question is, in the Star Trek series, a regular command is set phases to what? A, warp. B, exterminate. I'll go with A. C, stun. You've gone with set phases to warp. Correct answer is. Stun of the arcade. Goliath said. It's do or die at this point, Angela. <laughs> Very best of luck. Question is, the traditional medical prescription abbreviation BID for Latin is in DA meant what? A. Once a day. B. Twice a day. Three. Four times a day. What you go with? Twice a day. Why do you think you're wrong? Oh, I just think I am. It's probably once a day. For twelve thousand dollars. Correct answer is. Fantastic prescription for this dream, actually. It's a really nice way to open the account, but a really nice challenger. And same goes for Jade. I hope when we meet her after the break. Thank you.